camping is all about the outdoors and your California 6.1 packs furniture for outside as well as in. Your camping table is located in the sliding side door. To release, simply lift the catch, remove the table and fold out the legs. Your camping chairs are located in the tailgate. Unzip the compartment, remove the chairs and unfold. There's also an awning which can be extended out from the side of the vehicle. First, open the drawer under the bench seat to locate the awning tool. Then, connect the tool to the awning and unwind to a distance of 50 centimeters. In the middle of the awning, there are two supporting poles which need to be released to support its weight. Release the poles by pushing them towards the edges. Once released, the poles can be extended to the correct height and secured into position by pushing the securing clips up. You can now extend the awning to its full size, periodically stopping to move the poles to the correct position. In no time at all, you're all set. Fit or replace the gas bottle in your California 6.1 Ocean or Surf. Open the tailgate and the cupboard doors on the left. Remove the middle and bottom shelves. And unscrew the gas bottle storage area in the base of the cupboard. To remove a gas bottle, first unscrew the gas hose and then lift the bottle out. Once you've removed the gas bottle tap from the used bottle and attached it to your new bottle, place the new bottle into the gas tank compartment and screw the gas hose back onto the tap. Finally, screw the lid back on the gas bottle storage area and replace the covered shelves which you removed at the beginning. Use the gas bottle in your California 6.1 Ocean or Surf. Open the tailgate and the cupboard doors on the left. Remove the middle and bottom shelves. And unscrew the gas bottle storage area in the base of the cupboard. Turn on the gas supply at the bottle. Next, turn on the gas at the isolator valve located under the two burner stove. Finally, use the ignition on the stove to turn on the burners. Remember to turn off the isolation valve when the cooker is not in use and turn off the gas completely at the bottle when in transit. Once you are stationary and all set for the day or night, the front seats of your California 6.1 swivel round to create a more relaxed living area. To turn the seats, adjust the knob on each to roughly a 30 degree angle. Now pull the lever at the front of the seats to allow them to swivel. Finally, turn the seats within the vehicle to face the rear. Home from home. That's the California 6.1. Setting up the beds in your California 6.1 is as quick as it is easy. First, slide the bench seat into its most forward position. Next, push the buttons underneath the headrests and fold them back, ready for the bed to be laid flat. Now locate the bed release strap located in the middle of the bench seat and pull it at the same time as pushing down on the top of the seat. 
push down until the seat locks into the flat position. Then slide the seat belts away. Once the seats have been laid flat, you can pull the mattress topper forward to finish the bed. For sitting up in bed, you can raise one end by reaching behind the head of the mattress and locating the release strap. Just pull the strap and raise the head end of the bed to your required position. Don't forget, the table can also be used in a reclined position. Perfect for watching a movie in bed. With the clever use of space, your California 6.1 has everything you need in a camper van. When it comes to using your interior table, it neatly folds out and can be positioned wherever you need it. First, locate the release lever on the right-hand side of the table and push it in. Next, slide the table along to your desired location. Now pull the table upwards towards the ceiling and fold the supporting leg out. Using the extendable leg underneath the table, adjust to the appropriate height. To fold the table away, simply reverse the process. And don't forget, the table can also be used with the seat's recline. There are plenty of storage areas to keep everything in whilst out and about in your California 6.1. First, there's the integrated storage area under the bench seat. In here, you'll find the cable for your electric hookup the awning extension tool and the magnetic blinds for the front side windows. There are also cupboards to the left-hand side of the fridge, which includes a vanity mirror on the inside of the door, as well as storage above the rear seats, perfect for your clothing and other loose items. And don't forget the cupboards in the rear of your California for those items which you perhaps don't want to store in your living area. Smart storage designed for living. You have blinds for every window in your California 6.1 ocean or surf. The front blinds are integrated into the A-pillars. First, fold up the rear view mirror. Then, pull down the two latches situated in front of the mirror. Now pull the front blinds across from the A-pillars and attach to the latches. Once completed, fold the sun visors down to cover the top of the blinds. For the front side windows, there are magnetic connecting blinds located in the drawer under the bench seat. Attach them easily into position against the metal trim around each window. In the rear of the vehicle, there are five further blinds. Two above the kitchen area, one in the tailgate, and finally, two further blinds on the driver's side. The blind covering the sliding door should be the final one to close, as this blocks your access in and out of the sleeping area. To hook up the electrics in your California 6.1, first locate the isolator switch. It is found in the rear cupboard on the left-hand side. Ensure it is down and set to the off position. Now remove the hookup cable from the drawer under the bench seat in the rear. Your 240 volt electric hookup point is located on the rear left of the vehicle. Once plugged into a power source, plug the other end of the cable into the hookup point on your California. Return to the cupboard and set the isolator switch to the on position. You will know the hookup is working as an amber power sign will illuminate on the control panel. To disconnect, simply reverse the process. You will need to push the blue tab down on the connector to pull the cable out of the hookup point. The 
motorized roof in your California 6.1 Ocean or Surf, first ensure the sliding side door is open. This is because additional air will be drawn into the vehicle as the roof goes up. Now slide back the hatch situated above the driver and passenger seats. To operate the motorized roof, the engine doesn't need to be running, but the ignition must be switched on. Next, using the control panel, find the pop-up roof. Select Open, then press and hold the button. Your California will ask you to check the available space above the roof. If you're happy to proceed, press and hold the button again. Keep the button pressed until the roof is fully extended and the motor goes quiet. If you're not using the upper bed right away, push it up for more space. When you're ready to lower the roof, ensure the bed is lowered. Return to the control panel, select Close and follow the same process. As with opening the roof, remember to keep the sliding side door open because air will be pushed out of the vehicle as the roof comes down. Using the water tanks in your California 6.1 is simple to do. The fresh water top-up is located on the outside of the vehicle on the back left. To open the water cap, you'll need to use the key on the vehicle fob. This is different to the main vehicle key. Once open, top up with the water required. 25 litres is the maximum the tank can hold. Replace the cap and secure back in place using the same key. Your water tap is now ready to use. When your dirty water container needs to be emptied, place a bucket under the outlet which is located under the vehicle, just in front of the rear left-hand wheel. Under the sink area, you'll find a red lever. Turn it 90 degrees anti-clockwise and it will release the water from your dirty water tank. If you're on a camping site, there may be a dirty water drop-off point which you can pull your California up to. When you're done, remember to turn the lever under the sink back to its original position. If you need to empty or refresh the fresh water tank, open the left-hand side cupboards in the rear of your California and remove the shelves. Then remove the plastic bottom and locate the red handle in the left-hand corner. Turn the handle and the water will again empty under the vehicle. Once complete, turn the valve back to its original position and replace the shelves. You can also monitor both water tank levels at any time using the control panel in the front. The control panel in your California 6.1 allows you to monitor and control a whole host of camper van functions at the touch of a screen. There are multiple screens navigated by swiping left and right or using the rotary button. The first screen displays the overall status of your California, from the onboard battery to your heating to how much fresh water remains and how full the wastewater container is. Select Refrigerator box and you can turn on the fridge immediately here. Control its coldness. Or set a time at which you would like the refrigerator box to turn on. Once on, a yellow snowflake will light up on the top right of the panel. Select Auxiliary Heater to heat your California using the vehicle's fuel tank. You can select the heating level which you would like there and then. Simply select Heat Continuously to keep the heating at that level. Or Heat Immediately 
which will start a pre-selected heating program to run for up to 120 minutes. An amber heating symbol is displayed in the top right of the screen once the heater has been activated. To warm your California ready for departure, departure times can also be set in the heater settings menu. Camping mode allows you to select which lights do and don't turn on when you open your California. For example, if you select the living area light when opening, it will automatically turn on the interior lights when you open the vehicle, but the headlights will not turn on. Perfect for campsites. Max charge allows you to fully charge your California batteries when the engine is running. Typically, your California will only charge its batteries up to 80% via regenerative braking. By selecting Max Charge, your revs per minute increase as your California uses the engine to fully charge its batteries. Simply select Max Charge again to deactivate this function. The Level function is a quick and useful tool when setting up on uneven ground. Monitor precisely how level your California is whilst using chucks under the wheels to balance it out. Other functions include a timer which can be set for minutes and seconds. And there's an alarm with up to three presets. If you select the sunrise function, the inside lights will gradually be increased for a gentle wake up. Within the light menu, you can set the lights you would like to come on in the sunrise function, along with their brightness. Press test to check if you've set the perfect wake up lighting for you. All interior lights can also be operated directly from here by selecting the relevant icons and you can adjust the brightness of any or all of your lights. Finally, you can turn off all of the lights within your living area at the touch of this button.